capture the spirit and the essence of Zion um, because they were able to, sh to share it in color. The first photographers who came, um, they were shooting black and white. That's all they had at the time. But the artists were able to capture that color and were able to, in their own way, interpret the beauty and the majesty of the canyon and share it with the, the rest of the world in a way that had not been done before. And it was through those early paintings that the rest of the country and, and literally the world discovered Zion Canyon. When I moved here from Laguna Beach, I was an avid fan of Zion National Park and I really wanted to share that with other people because I knew that this was something that would be really gratifying to the plein air community. When I approached Jock Whitworth, Zion National Park superintendent, with the idea of a plein air event similar to Laguna's and many other great plein air events in the country, he was so enthusiastic because he's an art collector and appreciates great art. The, the fact that we have a, a national park in Zion Canyon today we owe a great deal to those to those artists and so this event allows us to celebrate that to commemorate that and then to perpetuate it with the great contemporary artists who come and to share it with the visitors who are in the park during that week i think that the plein air um, event in the footsteps of thomas moran is it, it gives visitors a unique experience we can tell them that we have history of art in the park and that art helps shape the park, but in reality, they get to see how it worked. They can imagine being one of those people who saw one of the Dellenbaugh's 
and um, really made that connection that would bring them out to Zion. They can also own a piece and they can connect directly to the artists and the role that they have currently within the park. Thomas Moran's love of our national park really translates itself to art patrons through our artists' work in such an intimate setting. I have had the opportunity to paint uh, all over the world, uh, to paint plain air. Um, from everywhere from the South Pacific Islands to uh, the Alps of, of Switzerland. And all those, those places are, are wonderful. It's always great to come home to Zion. And that is a place where you've got the, the steep cliffs of the Alps, maybe not quite that high, and not very much snow on them. And you've got the wonderful deep canyons and the running water that you see in other places. But the combination really doesn't exist anywhere else. One thing that is great is throughout the year, there's a lot of work put into getting uh, purchase awards for the event. And contributors come forward from the community and put up quite large sums of money that are prizes for the artists. You know, one of the really exciting things about this event is every single day there are demonstrations by each artist. Every one of the artists will spend at least an hour uh, during their week making a presentation right there at, at the Human History Museum where people can, can come and be there. They know which artist is coming and they can watch that artist produce something during that time. And that's kind of fun because you get a chance to interact and they can ask questions and they can see the piece that you're doing. In preparing for this event throughout the year, uh, it's quite astounding to see the partnership between the community that exists outside of Zion National Park, the employees of the National Park Service, and the National Park Foundation. We come together with a unique set of skills in each area and it's really a labor of love. One of the things that Plenty Air um, Art Event allows us to do is kind of reach out to the community, involve them in our interpretive planning, and um, our staff get to work with them. And so they work directly with artists, with the community, to set this whole event up. It's just a really unique, special event that kind of opens everybody's eyes. The week culminates in an amazing transformation of Zion National Park's Nature Center into a first-class art gallery showing approximately 150 amazing pieces of plein air work and a studio piece from each artist. There's something special about Zion National Park that is hard to talk about. It's almost like a spiritual thing for people. And when they come to Zion and watch those artists, the artists are good enough that they capture that spirit that people feel while they're here. One of my fondest memories is my earliest, or my first uh, recollection of seeing Zion Canyon. And I've always wished that I could have that experience again. You can only see it for the first time once. And yet, each year as, as these wonderful artists come and, and paint in the park, in the plein air event, as I look at their wonderful paintings that they create during the week, every time I look at a new painting, it's as if I'm seeing the park again for the first time.